Our military servicemen and women often need help reintegrating back into society, especially after they've been in combat. And I stopped by a place in Sheboygan Falls giving veterans support with the help of our four-legged friends. Oh, shape up. That's yes. a good boy. In Sheboygan Falls, a story of survival, support, and service. That came with a lot of honor to go and, and see people be thankful, you know, that live in a different country, different religion, different everything, and, and hugging and, and thanking us for standing up for them. This land in the town of Lima fights an often invisible enemy, the mental scars of war. I had to find a way to pay back. And Tori Willitson did it by forming Dogs to Dog Tags, where animals like Bane get training to support veterans. Oh, good boy. Willitson volunteered to go to Afghanistan to work as a dog trainer for Marines. When I was offered the job to be a bomb dog trainer, I said the only way I'm going to do it is if I can go to Afghanistan with them. Um, and they were like, what? Willison has seen how pet reinforcement boosts veterans' emotional health, like retired Marine First Sergeant Timothy Lesage. He's such a good boy. Lesage is here to get additional training for the American bully he shares with his girlfriend. Get some water. Lesage, an Iraq War veteran, served as a sniper and first responder. As a two-time Purple Heart recipient, his survival could be called a miracle. And then this leg, I lost all my adductor muscles. That scar went all the way around and opened up. Um, I could, you know, the VA report says I could put a softball through that leg. In Iraq, Lesage witnessed a fatal blast where two fellow soldiers standing nearby were killed. My second Purple Heart, uh, two gentlemen to my left and right, they died instantly uh, from an explosion that I took a bunch of wounds from. And my femoral artery is exposed and, and I should have died in seconds and, and you know, God allowed me to be here still. And service dog Bane, a faithful companion as Lesage dealt with survivor's guilt and the emotional and physical wounds. I had a full knee replaced and he was there for the recovery of that and he's he knows that somebody's hurt. Lesage praises dogs to dog tags for helping lift veterans when they need it the most. To see what they're actually doing with dogs and veterans and then also just with veterans, so training veterans to manage a trained dog and then also, you know, having a, a dog that's that's respectful and polite and then just loving as well and it's so important. And these pictures say it all. Warriors finding canine friends, servicing them after they fought for our freedom. It's my job to, to live in honor of those that aren't here and to make sure our nation realizes the effort and weight it takes to protect the nation. And this Marine's heart is filled with gratitude that his service to America did not leave his kids without a father. There is a purpose in life, you know, that I was given, it was to be their dad, so. And he's thankful for the gift of an animal that may not speak, but communicates love. <laughs> you have two purple hearts. Yeah. And, and as you look back, what do you think, Tim, was the biggest lesson you learned through combat? Wow, that's a, I've never been asked that question. I've done, you know, a lot. And, and I would say is cherish every moment and be thankful for every moment, moment because it can change like that. And words we all need to remember. And right now, Lesage works for WPS Health Solutions, helping veterans navigate health care. Now, if you'd like more information about Dogs to Dog Tags, you can go to their website, dogstodogtags.org, or you can visit that website through the QR code that you see on your screen. We'll be right back.